Hi, how's it going? My name is Paul J. Gonzalez. Welcome to the Coyote Creek. So I'm the executive director of Keep Coyote Creek Beautiful, and my main responsibilities are around managing our funds, but in particular, working on developing relationships and building the programs that we do. I've been a muralist since 1996. When I started, I was an oil painter, and then from there, experimented with acrylics, then moved to ceramics, a little bit of glass blowing, and you know, next thing you know, I, once you got that first piece, it just kind of just took off from there. I never thought I would be getting to 200 um, murals. It's, uh, it's pretty amazing. So working with KCCB, the process was first seeing what we can do to work together to make a success and what the outcomes could be. And the mural project was our focus. And with that, to bring in an education component. And so since we both worked at schools, we both had a different experience with working with, with uh, um, different types of students and um, different schools. So we used those different types of skills to create an educational component on top of creating design that, that would encompass the Coyote Creek. So not only do we create the education component that we've taught in schools on a Zoom class, we actually, this is an education component that actually talking about the watershed and the different species that live within the Coyote Creek. From just getting all the approvals that we needed from the uh, community, the school, getting the community input from the kids, which Paul did through Mr. Adventure, and then reviewing what the input was from the children, uh, determining what the format would be, and we decided on a watershed format, starting in the mountains where the water forms into the creek and all the wildlife that would flow towards the bay. Uh, and then finally, just the act of painting it was laborious but fun. I really enjoyed it. We started this project now probably uh, last year, and so we started with the concept. We started to come up with how we're gonna, what we're gonna do, the different approach steps, also the educational component, looking for a school, and this school happened to be available and was interested in our project. And from there, looking at the site to see what, what, what a wall, what wall would be perfect uh, for a mural for everybody to see because selecting a wall is really important because you don't want to do a wall that only a couple people can see. You want to make sure the whole school gets to see this so that they're able to enjoy the beauty and they're able to get the message. And then after that, we have to schedule the time for the painting and so forth. And also doing this during the COVID, we had a lot of hiccups and so, but we kept on persevering until we were finally complete. I would say the biggest challenge we had was the COVID. And you know, at the same time, they say, you know, challenges. It just make you stronger, right? We were able to make this happen with all these different obstacles and we had to find a solution and we made it work. And that's a success right there. Every, every project's different, you know, and so you always have a different set of um, uh, criteria that you have to meet up, um, a different process. Each school district is different. Each organization is different. So you're just trying to find that, how to make it work, that merging of, um, you know, just uh, trying to make it work. The murals are awesome because it really leaves a mark. In fact, with the mural, you don't have to put too much detail. You can make it a little bit more airier so we can actually paint more of the space. And that's what come we did here. You know, we could have put more details and so forth, but there's a certain point where, you know, you don't want to be having too busy as well. So we want to have a nice, well-balanced piece and I think murals are a great opportunity to educate um, in, in regards to creek preservation and the environment. Well, we had to have the coyote because this is Coyote Creek. Uh, I also mentioned that there were a mixture of insects and of uh, flowers and um, mammals and birds. So I want to make sure that we had a mixture of those. I love this area. But I also, I think I like the raccoon, but I also love the, the scrub jay. Um, I don't know, I like all the different personalities on this. I think that's kind of fun. I love the kind of the neck right here. Um, I don't know, I have different parts that I like for different reasons. My favorite part of the mural is the American Robin. 
And this is a bird that I recognize early on in my life and I really have resonated with between its color and just the way that it flies around and its energy. The main takeaway for me on this mural is beauty and education. So we want to beautify but also inspire also and educate. And so here, as much as it just looks, we see the different animals, we actually selected these animals. So that was actually part of KCCB's um, job was to um, educate me on certain species within the Coyote Creek. So working with them to educate me, I also get to learn more about the Coyote Creek and other animals and species that are living in there. So I was educated and so, you know, we get to educate the this, uh, this students, the teachers and the staff and everybody who visits the campus. It's beautified the school and we really transformed a very boring two-tone wall into this amazing color of life. There's just so many colors in here. I also want people to recognize that we've got a watershed, that this all leads towards Coyote Creek, which is adjacent to the school, like the school backs up to it. And that's really important for the youth here to know is that they do have this creek and that this creek has a lot of life. Uh, we also help people to get engaged and learn more about nature through our bio blitzes and coming out and doing creek cleanups. So I feel like there are ways through our organization but also others that connect people with nature. But it just starts with looking out the window or taking a step out in your yard and seeing what's there. Once you start to be involved, whether it's a creek cleanup, a uh, neighborhood cleanup, or just start looking at these different um, resources that are out there and start connecting with people, then it opens up the door. And then you just continue with those efforts. And next thing you know, you're part of removing tons of trash out of the creek. You know, you're, you're, you're part of the awareness of, well, what am I doing that's, you know, impacting the environment? So then I start to look and reflect on that myself to see, well, what kind of changes can I do besides just, you know, clean up the creek? And then also at the same time start to share it. So once you get the door open and you have the interest and you start to go out there and reach for it, I think it just opens up. So I always tell everybody, just, just try it out, get involved, and just open your mind about how you can have an impact. We all can have an impact if you really just open our minds and be active to it. We've just been enjoying watching the artists paint every day in the mural and seeing something new every day. And in particular, um, this is one of my personal favorite parts because we study insects in our class. So we talk about the milkweed that the monarch caterpillar feeds on and then of course the beautiful monarch butterfly which we can find in our environment. That's right, the caterpillar does have antennas. Right, family. What? A bee! Our bee, that's right. Our Looks like our honeybee, maybe, or a black bee. Western carpenter bee. Oh, the Western carpenter bee. So it's one of the native bees to this area. The reason that we put them in this order is so that we start at the top of what's called a watershed, where the mountains are. say thank you to our artist friends for making our our building was kind of boring before it was just brown thank you but this is beautiful look how gorgeous it is you like it thank you artist i can't hear you i can't hear you thank you making our school so beautiful and giving us something to look at and learn about. Oh, this was amazing. I've been wanting to work with Paul forever and finally figured out a way to do that through some funding that we had from one grant and we wrote another grant so I was able to get the funding that we needed and talk to a number of teachers and realize that the principal here was very amenable to having a free mural. So here we are.
we are going to work together, Paul and I, on one in Hellyer County Park. And we're going to be starting that shortly. And again, it's just really great that we're able to get some grants to make that happen.